All right, YouTube, back again. Uh, it's uh, September 1st, about 9.30 in the morning. I'm making 514 watts at 5.38 amps. Anyway, this is times two because I have a second set set up on my shed. That's on its own meter. Those are also tracking the sun. Now I have three problems actually. These panels are supposed to lay flat at night. Well, because they tilt so far that a solar sensor that you see up there is actually in the dark in the morning. The sun can't see it, so the panels don't want to spin because they don't lay flat at night like they're supposed to. So I'm probably gonna have to move that sensor maybe to the edge of the panel. Hopefully that'll cure the problem. The other problem I'm having is the uh, actuator arm up there is rated 12 volts, three amps. And I keep blowing transformers. This is the second one I've blown. That's all I have in, on hand. They're 12 volts, 800 milliamp. So I ordered some 2 amp ones and hopefully that'll fix the problem. Because right now I got it hooked up to a battery. It wasn't working this morning. But <clears throat> now the third problem um, is a little disturbing and this is actually take two because when I discovered it yesterday I was actually swearing and everything and I didn't want to post that on YouTube just in case uh, some little kids were viewing it or whatever um, not that my audience is very big and that would be a problem because I don't have a lot of people viewing my stuff, so but just in case, you know, I figure I'll clean it up a little. And what I was wondering is what would happen if I made more power than what I actually use during the day? What would happen to the smart meter? You know, what I was hoping is it would just stay the same. And we'll go over that do a little demonstration as much as I hate to do it Let's see if we can focus on this there's my smart meter right now it says 90 91 if you can see that okay you notice the little triangles on the bottom are going to the left that's an actual like say digital wheel it's actually spinning backward and I'll do a demonstration um, what's disturbing is is this used to say 90 the last two digits now it says 91 spinning backwards okay how do we know it's spinning backwards well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my central air and we'll watch those little upside down triangles move the other way let me pause this all right I turned on my central air it takes a minute to kick in but with this spinning backwards I'm actually donating electricity to the grid okay and in return they're selling it to the neighbor um, but what they're doing is they're charging me for it I'm giving them electricity and they're charging me. This is like, uh, kind of like the kilowatt meter. It doesn't care what direction the power is going. Okay, you'll see this uh, central air unit should kick in any minute. But so, if you're making too much power, you're getting charged for it. So you better use everything you make. Um, a way around that, I guess, is you could call the utility company, have the meter changed, and jump through all the hoops they want you to, you know, getting a permit, um, having it inspected, and they'll come out and make sure your stuff is UL rated, uh, which is a little bit of a double standard as these smart meters are not UL rated. They don't have to be because they are considered 
a utility product, not a consumer product. Now another thing you could do is probably uh, go back to the analog meter and reject this, but I guess there's a fee involved if you want to do that. Either way, they make it difficult and expensive to actually sell power to the electric company. And even if you do do that, they probably only buy it for, say, three cents a kilowatt as opposed to what they sell it to you for. So it's probably not worth doing. Um, and your third option is to just work with what you got. Um, do all your washing, run your dishwasher during the day, you know, when the sun's out, because you're actually being penalized for making too much electricity, which is uh, pretty crappy. And this is all a double standard by your electric company. I'm still waiting for this central air unit to kick in and I might actually have to pause it so this video doesn't get too long. You know what, I'll do that. Okay, now she just kicked on. Now let's take a look at these uh, these little arrows. Okay, see, now you notice they're going the opposite direction. That means I am using more power than what my panels are making okay and it'll charge me accordingly which is fair that's fair if i left this on it would go to 92 and i would be paying my after tax battery ran dead on this uh, camera so i had to uh throw a quick charge on it so um what i did is i turned the central air unit off all right and what I'm gonna do, even though I hate to do this, is I'm gonna let this thing run backwards, okay? And in a fair world, this should go to 90. It's at 91 now. Um, or even stay the same, I'd be fine with that if it just stayed at 91. At least they wouldn't be charging me for it. Um, so I'll leave this thing run backwards, this digital wheel. Um, the faster the little triangles move, the more juice is going through. Uh, when they're going slow, of course, you're not using that much juice. Uh, right now they're moving pretty good, so I'm, I'm putting a little bit of electricity into the grid at a pretty good pace. So this shouldn't take too long before this this number up here changes. So I'll pause it, I'll leave my central air off, and we'll see what this number turns into. All right, now it's, uh, it's 10.42. We're still at 91, it's been at 91 for a while. As you see by the little digital wheel, it's still running backwards. Okay, now let's run out to, let's run out to the shed where my second set of solar panels are. And we'll see how much those are putting out and then we'll check uh, the set on my roof. I'm going to turn this off because it's kind of hard to climb up in there. Alright, here I'm in my shed, here's my setup, I've got my fan blowing. It's on a timer so it shuts off at night. This one is making oh, 585 watts, and five and a half amps, and it's been running, well, I already made 1.3 kilowatts. It's been running for almost four hours. Go back to watts. All right, we'll, we'll go look at the other one. Okay, back here in the garage. This one's making 546, uh, almost five and a half amps. Made 1.34 kilowatts in four hours. They were both reset at the same time. So total I'm making 
a little over 1100 watts all right i'm not using that right now the only thing really on in the house i didn't flip any breakers off or anything like that but the fridge is running you know uh, a couple of desks tops are running the fans for cooling the uh the grid ties are running so all uh, the fridge when it kicks on maybe it draws 700 watts or who knows i never checked it so i don't really know so it's going to take a little bit to feed back a kilowatt into the grid so i'm waiting for this number to change and it'll change to 92 even though it's running backwards and then when it does change uh, we're gonna actually take a closer look at the digital wheel to see what it does to see if it is a uh, resetting or continuous and I'll explain what I mean by that right after this changes I should have left the camera rolling right when I shut it off it just changed it didn't go to 90 like it should or even stay the same it went to 92 and it is 1046 all right it's still running backward we know this I'm gonna prove that in a second so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my central air again and we'll see these little digital squares instead of moving left they're gonna be moving right okay but what I want to know is seeing how this just changed I want to know if this digital wheel resets because if I say this every time say you got two squares that are lit up right now well once it goes around and you have two squares lit up again that is one cycle well say it takes 20 cycles before it trips the meter to the next number to say 93 well what I want to know is where that wheel is if it resets then once I turn my air on and I'm actually using more power than I'm making it should take a long time to uh, to go to 93 um, if the wheel is continuous and it just tripped the meter once I spin it the other way it should trip this to 93 um, within a matter of say 15 minutes once this uh, this digital wheel is spinning the other way that's what I want to find out right now I want to find out how bad this smart meter is screwing people over that are making their own power all right now it's uh, 1050 I just turned a bunch of stuff on okay and I turned my central air on I'm, I'm waiting for it to kick in it hasn't kicked in yet but so far it's still spinning backwards um, so I'm gonna plug in this uh, I'm gonna plug in this light here to suck up some more juice well I guess I gotta turn the thing on from the inside she's still spinning backwards all right now I got the light on so I'm sucking I think that's 250 watts Let's see what the meter is doing here I don't see any little triangles on the bottom so that wheel is kind of at a standpoint ideal what you want to do is have it like this where nothing's happening where the wheels not spinning or slowly spinning either backward or forward the slower you can get it the better and right now I'm about dead even because it's not doing anything and it's been like that for about a, a minute or so but once that central layer kicks on then we'll see this thing start going we should because then I should be using more power that I'm making and if not I'll turn some more stuff on Wow, I'm surprised it's almost got it at the I'm using exactly what I'm making so this is the perfect scenario right here no square yet let's check the time it's 10:52. still nothing 
bear with me this might end up being a long video but I really want to know what's going on here I guess I'll pause this and start it up when there is a change all right my central air just started up you can hear it and you'll see everything is moving to the right and it's moving to the right fast remember I just went to 92 so if that digital wheel resets it should take a long time for it to go to 93 if it just slowed down and went the other direction and is coming across that trip point real quick this should change within 10 minutes to 93 because so far right now when it went from 91 to 92 I gave them one kilowatt of power for free they charged me 16 cents for doing that with taxes included and then they turned around and sold it to the neighbor okay it is 1054 so once again I will pause this and let you know when it changes oh before I go uh, I did screw around this morning with uh, turning lights on and off trying to get that uh, those little squares to move super slow and I I got it pretty good where where there was no action for I'd say two three minutes at a time which is really good but who's got time to screw around doing that trying to get it right on spot using every bit of power you make nobody's got time for that all right I'll pause this and I'll get back to you all right it's been a while it's still at 92 and it's running forward because I'm using more power than what I make it is now 1106 all right so when I was uh, spinning the, the digital wheel backwards it probably went maybe 10 cycles backward then when the central air and everything kicked on out all these minutes that went by it probably went forward probably say 20 cycles or 25 cycles so it went past that threshold where it would trip the number uh, to the next digit um, so that tells me the digital wheel does reset so it's not all that bad and we're still getting screwed but we're not getting really screwed I guess you could say Okay, now it's 11.20. I just noticed it went to 93. So did I actually use a kilowatt within that time? Um, I don't know how much that central air, not to mention my furnace blower motor uses along with the other stuff I have running in the house. So I guess bottom line is you are going to be penalized if you make more power than what you use the uh, power company is actually double dipping um, so I don't know what else to say about that um, that is uh, one big disadvantage for not having a battery bank